Hi, it's Heike here with Heike's Furniture Art and today I want to work on this handle. I want to make it rusty. It's a new handle that I got from Hobby Lobby. You have it in, in, in the US, uh, Jumbo in Switzerland, whatever. You've kind of a supermarket and uh, it's all new and for my pieces i want it to be rusty so i bought this and what i need to have is the prime start from the patina line from dixie bell um, you have to use this when you do metal so you give it a first coat and uh, then i will need my iron patina paint iron because i want it rustic i'm not going to use the others i just want the rust on it to put once you put that you put one coat then a second coat and when the second coat is still wet you're going to spray on the patina spray uh, that's the green one i prefer the green one to the blue one when i do rust so um, this is for iron it's written here for what it is and uh, to protect this you don't need this if you use it on wood but on metal you've got the patina guard and uh, you'd protect it otherwise it will continue to corrode if you don't protect it afterwards and uh, you might not want that what you need for sure is this because once you get this patina paint on your fingers, it's very difficult to take them off. So um, these um, gloves and also a stir stick to really stir the paint because the good things, the metal particles are at the bottom. So you really, it's not, it says shake well, but I always prefer stirring it thoroughly. So all this metal particles they are mixed together with everything first step is i'm going to take my handle there's no need to as it's new i'm not even going to bother cleaning it there's no need to sand it and you take your prime start for the metal i'm already going to put on my glove so i know how i am just open it up this is what it looks like I'm going to put this to the side you see already on it and I'm going to take my stir stick and I'm going to really stir this well this needs to be put on and then you have to wait one to two hours it says you can wait till the next day it just has to dry thoroughly. Okay, taking this off. I forgot to take a brush. I need to get a brush. Taking this brush it doesn't have to be big as the handle is not too big. going to take some of this and I'm going to stipple it on. It's, really, it's a really easy thing to age your handles. I enjoy doing that. It's not really expensive. Sometimes you get these cool handles, yes, but you pay them a lot, at least where I am, where I am based, and I am based in Switzerland, so everything is really expensive. Whoopala. So just putting this on and once it's on let it dry this is a protective coat you see this is what it looks like okay that's it so i have to wait until this is dry and after that comes step two and i will use my 
patina iron paint on it. Oops, I forgot to put the lid. My handle with the primer, with the metal primer, is now dry. And I am taking my patina paint in iron. It's grey. Opala. Oi. I've already stirred it quite a bit, so this is really important to stir it because you've got the metal particles at the bottom and they have to be mixed with everything else. So for this one, I really prefer stirring instead of shaking. I'm going to put this to the side. Don't forget your glove. And you might want to take, I'm taking this brush. Um, I don't really like it. I don't really like to paint with it. Whoops. Um, take one that you might be able to throw away. You could use the foam brushes that you can throw away afterwards. And um, first coat on now with the iron paint. And again, I'm stippling on. Be sure to be everywhere, to put it everywhere. You can stipple, you can do strokes, it's as you wish. Give some nice texture if you stipple on, as I like having textures. Yes. What I'm going to do is I'm a bit impatient. I'm not going to wait that this dries on its own. So I'm going to take my hair dryer and I'm going to speed the drying up. What I am not going to speed up is afterwards, but I'll get to that. Okay. What's important is keep your brush until you use it again, put it in a plastic bag so it doesn't dry out on you and you can use it again. This is especially important if you've got several things to do. So I'm going to put this here, I'm going to close my paint and I will go and dry my handle now and I'll be back. Next is the following. You have to do a second coat and whilst the second coat is wet, you are going to put the patina spray. You have to shake this well. I am using the green spray. Put your nozzle, this one, in here. Make sure when you spray to have the paint out of the way. Do not get that, um, that spray into your paint because you'll have corrosion in your paint. Not only it contaminates, but there will be a reaction to it and you can throw it away afterwards. Just giving it a quick stir again. And now I am going to take my brush and I'm going to, this time, as I stippled before, I already have some texture on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a second coat. And then, taking away my paint, I am going to spray my green patina spray on it. Okay. I need to put a second coat on here. Voila. Get the paint out of the way of the spray and then just spray on top of it. And 
And what you have to do now is let it be until tomorrow. Let it do its thing. At least I'm going to wait till tomorrow. I'm going to close my paint. You have to take out your nozzle. Don't leave it in there because as the patina spray is corrosive, um, it will do damage to your nozzle. So what I do, I just spray it back in what there is left. And then I just take a bucket of water and do not put this in your sink, please, or in the bathtub. Um, I'm going to put this in some water. I have a bucket of water somewhere and I'm just going to put it in here and I'm going to spray it outside and clean and clean the patina spray. Let's see if there's something left. There's some left. I'm going to put it on, on a bit more. And tomorrow, when I'm back, and I've got better light. This should be really rusty. And once that's done and it's done its thing, I'm going to protect it with the patina guard. As I said, this is specific for metal. It's not needed if you have chalk paint um, on wood. Then you don't need it. This is finished now and if you remember what it looked like in the very beginning and now it's quite rusty it did its thing from you know shiny or matte black to a rustic finish i left this overnight i could leave it longer and it will continue as it is metal it will continue to corrode and rust even more but for the piece that i want to do for me it's enough rust so what i'm going to do is to protect it so it doesn't continue corroding and rusting and um, for that you would use the patina guard which is specifically for metal and do this in a ventilated area it's quite smelly Oh, in fact, it's really smelly. <laughs> so it says shake well again, but I think it's good to just stir it. And that's it. And I am going to put on my glove so I can touch the piece of metal. And just taking this one and I'm just going over it. The back side as well, not to forget the back side, otherwise it might go over to your screws that you put into them and they might rust. We don't want that. They say you should give it two to three light coats and don't go heavy with it. It's better doing, it's like with paint, it's better just giving it a light coat, let it dry, that's very quickly and just go over it again. So it needs to dry now, I'm going to do another light coat and then I'm going to put it up on my piece. And that's it about the patina, I'll show you the end result.